Hey, good morning, knitters. This is Jana. It is April, I know, but we are expecting snow tomorrow. I think in Wyoming, it's just a matter of a different kind of snow. We have big, heavy, wet snow in the spring, and then in the winter, we have dry, more powdery snow, but, you know, it's just still snow. So it can be 70 degrees one day, and then 30 the next, and 6 to 12 inches. So we'll see how that goes. But I brought you with me this morning. I'm checking on the goats. Um, I have several that are due to kid in the next week or so. So I'm having to come out to the barn every four or five hours just to check everybody and make sure that nobody needs any midwifery assistance. I also have three cows that are due to calve uh, shortly. One this week, one the following week, and one I'm, you know, unsure of. So we'll see. What I have for you this morning is a video on how to pick up your stitches if you don't have a crochet needle or crochet hook with you. I don't normally carry a crochet hook around just because I'm not a crocheter. Um, you know, I can crochet stuff if I have to. It's not my first preference, but anyway. So what follows is my way of picking up stitches that I've dropped without using a crochet hook. Hey, just a quick shout out to four of our patrons. These are people that financially support Pearl Together and help make these videos possible every week. Hearty shout out to Martine Peterson, Crafty Gemini, Paulette Walker, and Cheryl Bamel Post. Thanks so much for helping support our channel and making sure these videos come to you each week. If you want to know about the perks that you can get and trade for your monetary support of the channel, go over to patreon.com forward slash Pearl Together. Peanut and I, thank you. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate on this ribbing portion of uh, our current block of the month knit along so I can show you what to do with a purl stitch to pick up or a knit stitch either way. So let's say for example I had dropped this knit stitch right here and it had slipped down a couple of rows. So let me just go ahead and do that and simulate that I've dropped that and there's one row slipping down and let's say two rows slipping down. So when I notice this, if you notice something like that, obviously you wanna get a hold of it right away. So use a DPN or a cable needle or something to get a hold of it right away, even if it's twisted or, you know, like I just split it slightly there. So I'm just gonna go and fix that by putting it on my left hand needle, making sure that I have all the strands. So I pick it up on your left hand needle. Now you can see the two horizontal ladder rungs, if you will, they look like ladder rungs. This one, I need to make it this into a knit stitch. So what I'm gonna do is take my left hand needle and go underneath that and pick it up, okay? Then I want that to become the loop that is highest. So I'm gonna take this, the loop that I picked up, the stitch that's that I've picked up, and I'm gonna put it up and over, bringing the ladder rung through. So that creates that next stitch. Now you're gonna do the same thing with the last ladder rung, picking that up on your left hand needle. With using your right needle, pick up and slip that up and over, bringing the ladder rung horizontal yarn through. So now you can see I've corrected that. Okay, let's go ahead and take one of these out and I'll show you what to do if that happens with the purl stitch. So if you'll notice before, when I pick these up, the yarn strand that I'm bringing underneath and through is on the right side of the stitch. This horizontal rung of the ladder, so to speak, is on the right side of the stitch. When I bring it, the stitch up and over from the left and I bring that through, that's on the right hand side. If I have dropped a purl stitch, let's do the same thing and take that out a couple of rows so there's the ladder rung in the front, and that's what makes a purl stitch. So I'm gonna bring this up, and I wanna get a hold of it before it slips down any further. So now I have a ladder rung in the bottom, and a ladder rung in the front, and one in the back. So what I wanna do now is take this back over to the right-hand side, so I can pick this up with my left needle, put the stitch back on the left needle, and I wanna bring this up and through like that, so that the ladder rung is on the left side now, and that's what makes the purl. It's what side your ladder rung is on, so to speak. Now it's on the right side here. So if I just pick this up and through, that's gonna make a knit, isn't it? See how that looks like a knit stitch now? With the rung, ladder rung, or the previous stitch, the top of the previous stitch is in the back of the current stitch. 
but I want to switch it to a purl. So I need to take the ladder rung or the horizontal strand back out, bring it over to the left hand side, and then take it down and through so that that horizontal bar is in the front. That's actually the top of the previous stitch and that's what makes the purl. Okay, so I hope that helps so that you can correct your knitting. It's easy enough to correct too. If you, if you notice like two or three stitches down that you've inadvertently purled something that should have been a knit, you can go and correct it that way. Let's say I'm going along and I've realized that I've inadvertently knitted a stitch here that should have been a purl as it was previous. This whole column down below is purl, but I realize, oh, I knitted that. Maybe I wasn't paying attention very well, a good Netflix show, and I knitted that instead of purled it last time. So what, how do I correct that without tinking all the way back? Well, that's pretty simple. All you need to do is get it back onto the right hand side, put your needle down into the stitch below, and then just reorient which side the stitch below is on. Is it on the right or is it on the left? So then I'm just gonna lift that up. I kind of push that with my index finger and that would make it the knit stitch. So that was wrong because it's on the right. And I want it to be a purl so I know that this loop needs to be on the left of the current stitch. So I'm gonna go up and in and bring that down under and through and there's the purl. Okay, so now I've corrected that. Okay, so let me show you that a couple more times. I know that looks super confusing. Let me take this one out. So let's say you have this dropped stitch and you realize you've dropped it and you pick this back up. This is gonna, and I also, if you'll notice, I, just out of habit, I picked up the ladder rung or the horizontal bar there that is my stitch that's waiting to be corrected. So pick that up on the left hand needle if it's a knit stitch, that bar or that horizontal strand needs to be on the right. Then I'm gonna go in with my right hand needle underneath and just kind of, I just kind of poke it with my finger, I guess. And I work the left hand needle through, drawing that back loop through the front, okay? If that needed to be a purl, then that horizontal strand here would need to be on the left side of the stitch and I'd go up through with my right hand needle, bend it down and take that stitch back through the back and that would create a purl stitch. So I hope that makes sense and that you're easy able to see how to correct if you make a mistake or how you can pick up your stitches without using a crochet hook. Frodo and I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you like these videos, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button down below and hit that bell to get notifications of when we upload something else every Tuesday and on the occasional bonus Friday. 